Hi, my name is Chrissy. I am 28 years old and I have MRKH. My name is Kristen. My name is Abby. I'm 25. I am 19. And I have MRKH. MRKH is when a woman is born with a malformed reproductive system. Where you fail to have a period during puberty and you're missing some reproductive parts. My understanding is that most have missing or malformed uteruses and other internal female reproductive uh, abnormalities. So you can't carry a baby. There are other medical conditions that seem to be linked to MRKH that aren't reproductive in nature. I was born with no, um, I guess, vaginal tunnel. I was born with no vaginal opening or tunnel and no cervix. I feel like I have a little remnant of a uterus. I was born with no uterus, no cervix, no fallopian tube. My uterus was malformed, so it was removed when I was 24. I have a very sharp curve in my spine. I have a malformed tailbone. I also have what's called a hemivertebrae. That means that one of my vertebrae bones only half formed. No rectal opening at birth. I also had ear and hearing issues as a young child and required several surgeries before I was five years old. A little resentful. Sadness. Depending on the day, I may feel shameful. I may feel proud, I may feel sad or challenged. Sometimes it makes me feel insecure about myself. Depending on the day, I feel different, strong, hopeful, unfeminine, scarred. It makes me feel defective. When I first found out, I was just really confused. I didn't understand what it all meant and what it would mean for me and my life. It's something you have no idea what it is. All this information is getting thrown at you all at once. I would say I felt confused. When I first found out that what I was going through had a name, I naively thought that uh, I was on the road to a cure and that this could be cured and all my pain would go away. I was diagnosed with MRKH 14 years ago. I've known for 10 years. It's been a little over two years. I learned to accept something that is out of my control. It is what it is. Um, I feel indifferent towards it. Um, it took me 14 years to feel that way. Now that I'm a little older, it's starting to hit me what um, all these defects that my body has mean for me. Mostly not being able to carry a child. That's something that I really, really want. I learned to Embrace MRKH. If you ask me on any other day, I may feel differently about it. I tell my family I don't hide from it very much. Um, I don't usually tell them all the details about it, or I don't usually share all my feelings about it. When I first found out, I shared with my grandparents, and of course, my immediate family, but since then I haven't shared with family. 
When I was first diagnosed with MRKH, my mother told my entire family. I underwent exploratory surgery soon after I was diagnosed. That ended up going really badly, almost killed me. So most of my family was told what was going on. A majority of my family does know that I can't have children. I did tell a handful of my close friends. Um, some of them were supportive. Up till recently, I haven't. I didn't really have anyone that I really trusted to tell them something so personal. I don't really hide from MRKH, so most of my friends do know that I have it. Um, I don't know that a lot of them know the full details, but they do know that I was born without a uterus. That's usually the most that I share with friends. Um, my closest friends know a lot more about it. One of them did say to me, why don't you just become a lesbian if you can't have normal sex? Who's gonna, what guy's gonna wanna have sex with you? When I find out that someone I know is pregnant, uh, I feel sad for myself and then guilty for feeling sad. When someone I know is pregnant, I really try to focus on being happy for them. But underneath those feelings of happiness I feel for them, I feel really, really jealous. Seeing someone pregnant, it doesn't really affect me that much, but I think it's probably because I'm not in that stage of life yet. I think when I do want to have children that it probably will affect me more. When I'm around other women, if the topic gets to something that I can't relate to, like sex or periods, I kind of just sit back and listen to the conversation. I don't obviously put in my input because I have no idea what they're talking about. When people are talking about their periods, I just kind of sit there and smile to not get involved with the conversation because I wouldn't know what to say. All of the women I work with and all of the girls that I associate with or hang out with know at least a portion of my condition. Um, and so it's usually not that big of a deal. It doesn't usually come up, or if it does, they're pretty understanding. My biggest issue with having MRKH is not being able to carry my own child. That just kills me inside. The one thing that bothers me the most is not being able to experience being pregnant. It'd probably be not being able to relate with others. I would say that it depends. If, if it's someone that I've known like for a while, then Yes. When I start a new relationship, um, I'm not very open about it. I think that's kind of weird, you know, on a first date. So what do you do? Also, I don't have a uterus. That's weird. Oh, so do you have any family in town? I can't have sex with you. When I met my now husband 11 years ago, I told him about me having MRKH on our second date. We were in the car driving, uh, he was driving, and I just sort of blurted out, I have MRKH, I can't have sex. And he was quiet for a few heartbeats, and then he asked a few questions, and then that was that. He's always been very supportive and understanding. My answer would be no. Luckily, my husband is the only guy I've ever had to confide in about my MRKH, and that went well. I once had a boyfriend um, break up with me over not being able to have children. I told him pretty pretty early in the relationship when it was getting a little more serious and he was fine with it. He was really supportive. He was really reassuring. And then about a year down the line, he changed his mind. I feel like they don't really know what it is and they don't really know how to help me. They don't know what it is. They have to go to their computers and research it. 
Once for insurance purposes, I had to take a pregnancy test and I was very adamant to the nurse that there's absolutely no way I could be pregnant, um, but I was pretty much forced to take the pregnancy test. Looking back on it, it's really sad to know that that test will always be negative for me. I will never have a positive pregnancy test. I once walked into a doctor's office um, and the nurse that was taking all my vitals asked me when my last period was. I told her I didn't have them and she responded with, oh, you're so lucky. Don't say things like that to me. When I tell people I have MRKH, I've gotten, you know, mixed feelings, I guess, depending on the person. Everyone's different. Um, some people, you know, are sympathetic. Some people are curious. Some people are uncomfortable. At first, they are shocked and they have no idea what it is. They're like really supportive and that surprised me. I've never had a negative response sharing that I have MRKH before. Luckily, most of my friends are very supportive. Sometimes I write down my thoughts. Coping with MRKH has been a journey for me. Um, in the beginning, the way that I coped with it was to pretend it wasn't there. Although I deal with MRKH daily, I try not to blame it for any of my situations that I may be in. Now I keep a blog. I've joined online support groups. I've also found wonderful people online, on Facebook and stuff, who are wonderful to talk to. It is what it is, and I have to work around it sometimes, but there's nothing I can do about it. As much as it hurts being different from my friends, um, not having to deal with bleeding out of my vagina every month is actually pretty great. I will admit that most of the time it is nice not to have a period, not to deal with all that mess. I'm more than just a vagina. Even before I went through the dilation process, my husband and I had an amazing sex life. I deal with it differently now than I used to, and I'm sure as the years go on, I will continue to change the way that I cope with it. Are there struggles that come with it? Of course, but even though it can be hard sometimes, it sets us apart from other women and it makes us unique. It's important to realize that there are other ways to have a child. Not being able to carry your own child isn't the end of the world. It sucks and it isn't fair and I hate it, but I will have a child someday and MRKH isn't gonna stop me. Other people, they have it a lot worse than we have it. It makes me thankful that I have something so minor. Any man worth having, would be willing to be with you, vagina or not.